Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Infinite Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do an FT and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. And before we begin the analysis, let's have a short discussion on what happened today. So yesterday we saw that both FIs and pros were holding some bearish positions, but uh, FIs preferably had call sell, and also did pro had call sell. And Bank Nifty opened gap down and. Obviously, when it opens gap down, uh, if you remember, I had told you that the put call ratio was already on the lower end. So whenever it opens gap down, it uh, usually opens in the reversal level. And we did see some bounce in both Nifty and Bank Nifty. However, Nifty remained bullish throughout the day, but Bank Nifty gave some bounce. Uh, but later on, you know, once the put call ratio changes so again we can see some short sellers entering in and then taking the market further down so that's what happened in bank nifty today so overall if we have to check nifty and bank nifty on the daily chart so this is my 200 ema okay and this is my 50 ema so nifty is uh, looking bullish because it is continuously trading about 200 ema so almost one two three four five six six days and it is still trading around uh, so higher than the 200 ema so which means it is bullish and if we have to check bank nifty so bank nifty was trying to trade above 200 ema so we saw that one two three four so this was the bounce that we expect uh, that we saw day before yesterday when it went down below 200 ema and then finally closed on the higher side but unfortunately today we can see that it opened right around so below the 200 ema and almost went close to it and then closed below 200 so bank nifty is bearish because it is below 200 ema and nft is trading above so now there are two things that is possible so since nifty is trading above 200 there is always a chance that nifty can give a dip until 200 ema so if it gives a dip bank nifty may further come down until maybe 34000 so 34000 is a very important level so why important level let me just show you all uh okay i'll just zoom out a little uh let me close this so if you see here we can see a support this place yeah which is close to 34 100 so if i have to put a line uh somewhere here okay so this is the line that i'm talking about let's change the color to green okay so 34000 is an important support so there is a possibility it may come to 34000 in case nifty gives a dip towards the 200 em okay so this is how nifty and bank nifty looks as of now and if we move on to a smaller time frame so both nifty and bank nifty traded within the levels that we marked okay so bank nifty it opened here so whenever i put a black line that means that line is going to be a trend deciding line okay so if it is staying about this that means it's bullish so if it comes to this particular line it will take support and go up since we opened below it it hit this particular line and then fell down like anything so you can clearly see continuous red candles once it went up to this line it was following a trend line it broke it and a sudden fall so again we have a black line over here so it acted as a great support and market stayed within this range okay so now what should be our plan next so for that we'll have to rely on some data and see what fis have planned 
So let's look at the data first. So this is my participant wise open interest. There is uh, nothing to check on the uh, so calls and puts because you'll only see close long and close short. But what you can see is if close long is more than close short or not. But if we have to rely on future data, so futures FIs have closed some long positions and added some short positions. Okay, so this is a continuous second day where they have added short positions in future. That means uh, we saw that they created completely bullish position in futures. So now they are slow and steadily adding shorts to neutralize it rather than keeping it bullish. Okay, and uh, other than that, uh, today FIs have sold for about 1740 crores in the cash market. So, this was surprising to me because I thought they'll continue to buy in the cash market, but they are creating confusions now. One day they are buying, the next day they are selling. So, this is a pattern that they have been following. Okay, if you look at the pattern, uh, it started all around 16th March. They bought for 300 crores then 17th march they bought for 2800 crores then on the 21st march they sold about 2900 crores then they bought for the next two days about 384 crores and 480 crores which is roughly around 800 crores 800 850 crores and then finally today they sold about 1700 crores so this is how they are doing so there is no clear picture yet if they have become bullish or not but i had already told you in my yesterday's video that if they have to be bullish they'll start accumulating in the cash market but they'll create bearish positions in uh, indices however right now uh, you know one day they create bullish position in index and they buy in cash market the next day they sell in cash market and they create bearish position in the index this is what they are doing so right now even they are confused and if they are not confused they are definitely confusing us so these days we will only uh, try to follow them whenever they are buying we will go to that side whenever they are selling we will stay on that side but we saw that you know last two three days they did not have significant positions in the uh, options the option positions were very light so right now it still indicates that they are bearish because they have added future shots now let's see what should be the next plan so let's move on to a 15 minutes time frame let me just remove this okay so this is our 15 minutes time frame uh I will not want to keep a lot of lines now. Let's remove this as well. I don't uh, rely on moving averages much, but today I added 50 moving average because uh, since we opened gap down and 200 moving average was really very far, it was above 36,000 here so definitely you know on a thursday rallying up to 36000 that is a round level and it was above 36000 so that becomes difficult hence i added 50 moving average to look for a reversal so it exactly reversed from 50 moving average and then it fell okay and we also had a resistance over here so it was a confluence so hence we saw a sharp fall so right now what should be our plan is if bank nifty uh, so on a daily chart let's move on to a daily chart now and let's hide the lines so what we can see on the daily chart as of now in bank nifty is we, we have just closed above the low of this particular candle. So this particular candle's low is 35384. Okay, so let's write it down here, 35384. So if we, so we have seen a tremendous buying pressure here, which was absent today. Okay, so this was surprising. 
So once we breach this low, then definitely we may see some sharp fall. Okay, then that fall can come up to this place, which is around 34,800. Okay, so around 500 to 600 points fall is something which we can expect. So now let's move to our 15 minutes time frame. Just do some zoom out, activate all the lines. Okay. So cool, we have some uh, levels even on the downside. So 35,384. Okay. So already this particular black line, which is at 35,426, was an important support. Okay, if you see, uh, we took support here once, then again twice and thrice. So this time there is a high possibility if we break, then we'll definitely give a dip until 34,877. Okay, and we also have a gap left in this place. So looks like Bank Nifty has a plan to fill the gap. So for that, Bank Nifty has to open within this range. Okay. So it should open uh, between 35,400 to 35,675. Okay. So imagine if Bank Nifty opens tomorrow here. And if it breaks this, uh, is when we'll enter on a put side here. And the target that we're expecting is somewhere close to 34,850. Okay, so which is a decent uh, around 600 points fall, 500 to 600 points fall. Okay, and in case if it opens flat and if it starts moving on the higher side, uh, it is not advisable to take a call option, but risky players can take a call once it breaks this high why because if it breaks this particular high then there is a possibility it may go and fill this particular gap at 36000 okay so a call option once it closes above 35 675 or 680 we'll buy a call here and our target becomes 36000 on the higher side on the lower side we'll opt for a put and just in case if it opens with a small gap up around 35, 675, we will wait for it to come down and see what it does. Okay, it will definitely take support once. And then if it forms a lower high and then if it breaks it, you can definitely buy a put here. Or in case if it opens here, also if it breaks the first candle immediately, you can take a put here also. But this is going to be the best place of buying a put option. Okay. And any significant gap up above this, say it is opening around 35,800. Then if it is giving a dip, then there is a possibility it will be sideways for a long time. And then if it crosses day high in the second half, we will definitely buy a call for the target of 36,000. So, and let's discuss gap down also. If it opens with a gap down, then we'll wait for a small retracement. And if it closes again below this particular line, we'll buy a put here. So this is my view on Bank Nifty. Let's discuss Nifty quickly. Yeah. So Nifty is here. Uh, let's remove this particular line so that there is no confusion. Uh, okay, there was a trend line that it was following today. Okay, so since yesterday, uh, we can see that it has been following this particular trend line. So what we'll do is, in case if Nifty opens within this area, if it breaks this particular low, that is 17,140, we'll definitely buy a put. But the only problem is, uh, you know, there is a 200-day moving average here at 17,060. So we may see that uh, it will consolidate, it will give a bounce. So Nifty, you can avoid tomorrow if it opens flat and if it's breaking it so what we can do is if you if people who like nifty wait for this dip let it take supported 200 day moving average 
let it give a bounce and if it forms a lower high okay then you can take a put trade either here or maybe if it breaks the 200 day moving average you can buy a put here what should be your target uh, let's check that okay your, ta your target should be somewhere close to 16950 okay so which is a decent 200 point fall 16950 or you can even consider 17000 but 17000 is like uh, just about 100 points fall but nifty i'm not looking that confident because it is already bullish okay and in case if it opens flat and say it is again taking support at 17140 okay and if it is breaking this particular trend line then you can go for a call by your first target becomes 17320330 okay and then the second target can be somewhere close to this particular trend line which is around 17350 so beyond this we may see a good rally but i'm not sure if it would do it tomorrow uh, because this is this particular trend line is based on a daily time frame so we will see nifty consolidating here and then maybe give a breakout okay so we'll wait for that any significant gap up uh nifty you can avoid because it will try to trade within this range if it's a significant gap up we'll only buy put if it breaks this or if it closes below 200 day moving average on a smaller time frame and in case of a gap down say if it is opening around 17,050 or 60, we'll wait for it to bounce here. And if it is reversing and then breaking 17,140, definitely we'll buy a put. And this time we'll expect a target of 16,900. Okay. So this is my view on Nifty and Bank Nifty for tomorrow. So please mark these levels that I've marked on my chart. It will really be helpful because I've seen a lot of people saying that my levels really work and that itself is enough to trade properly if you know the other part of price action like candlestick pattern and identifying reversals thank you for watching my video let's meet in another video till then take care bye bye